and you're watching Tim's Tiny Arcade, Mother Effer. I've done a few smaller marathon games at Cedar Rapids, uh, but yeah, I know, other than my house, this would be, well then, in, when I was in Australia for it, I, uh, I think I did like two million points there with five lives, uh, oh, okay. so, I mean, I played on a bunch of different machines, the problem with Galaga is, you, you get there to uh, arcade, and you see a Galaga machine, and it's like, oh, it's on fast fire. Or, uh, or yeah. it's on rank A. You know it's going to yeah. have a kill screen. Yeah. What you need, what you need to do. Right, right. And of course, most guys don't want to go back there and change the settings. Yeah. But it's, I'll tell you, it's kind of nice. Like, I went to a charity event, and um, they had Galaga on there, and uh, uh, it was in Iowa City. And so I stepped up to the arcade, and the tournament that they had for the charity event, it was only two hours long, but I noticed, like, oh, it's on Fast Fire, and it's going to have a kill screen. And so I was like, awesome. Well, you know what I mean? I don't want to play for, you know, 10, 12 hours. Right. So I was happy. I, I kind of like it when there's a kill screen on it. So Right. It would be a stopping point. Right. So is this So, if you play on player one, it'll flip it to back to uh, zero. But if you play on player two, it'll kill the million point digit. That's funny. Isn't that great? So actually what it is, is the million point digit's there on player one, but you can't see it. It's off screen. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Now, what I learned just recently is that around, I think it's around 13, 14 million points, the hit miss doesn't work. It won't do your hit miss score anymore. So, one thing I like to do for fun is um, I'll get my ship captured, right? Right. And then I'll shoot the Galaga boss, but the ship will be up there. So, my own ship will come down and shoot me. Well, you can let it go. And it goes to the next stage. Well, I found out 10 stages later, you can keep it going through the game. Your first ship being captured, attacking you over and over again. You can juggle your first ship. Oh, that's the game. awesome. Isn't that great? You'd yeah. love to see how far somebody can take that. Something. That you is know what cool. I mean? That's, like that's a, a big challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just juggle your captured ship. I can say that we've got like seven times during that time. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that. I don't know why they bother doing that. Right. That's what's funny is there's some things in the game you go, why did they allow? Maybe they missed it. You know what I mean? Really? Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe they thought it was cool. See, and I use that method a lot. If a if a Galaga captures me, that only has been shot, and you want it, you want it shot once because it's much easier to get you know yeah. your, your ship back. So I just slam that button as much as I can when he's when he's spinning. And sometimes it's really rare, but sometimes you'll shoot it and kill it on accident. You know yeah. what I mean? Four point four million first life. Love it. There's a certain score you always want to get. Uh, if, I mean, if you die and you reset it. Uh, you mean like an average or something? Yeah, you say, hey, I'm just going to start it. I like shooting, uh, like, the other day. Certain, I, no, go ahead. Well, or a certain level you think you need to get to or if you die. Or, you know. It's very satisfying to get through the whole first game on one life. One life so typically. there's times I've, I've ran them out after doing that. Yeah. Um, oh no. There we go. Um, and then, 
the other day I did 2.5 million and just a little practice run on my first live and I went perfect. You know, that's right. That feels good. With one practice I did before coming here. So. But I think another cool thing about Gallagher is the fact that a lot of players will not play for a while and they'll come back and get these huge scores and it's 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 kind of like wine where over time, you know, not playing, your game can improve because when you sit here and you watch the screen all day long, you know, your you, mind kind of becomes numb and then you kind of miss a, you know, a, 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 you lose a life just because you're not focused. You're not You're, you're focused, just no. in another world. And yeah, you're thinking about other things. The <laughs> door closes, the dog barks, and you go, oh, it's four o'clock. I started at noon. And <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? So if you don't play it a lot, let's say you stop for like, you know, six months or something, you can be more focused and out of nowhere, you can just knock it out of the park because now you're not in that zone, you know, you're actually trying to play the game. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's quite true. It doesn't happen all the time, but, you know, uh, Andrew Barrow was a good a good uh, example of that. He, he hadn't played in a while and he played a game and did like 6.8 million and it was like, wow, you know, you'd think he'd get like 2 million to play for everybody. <laughs> yeah, but taking that time off. I think he actually improved his score on that. That gets me sometimes. Mm -hmm. huh? I can see that happening. I, it took a while to learn how to get around. That is not how you're supposed to get around that. You're supposed to go underneath that Galaxian and, and take him out. Mm -hmm. Do not try and run away, because running away will give you a death. So I got really lucky there, actually. Probably should have died there. That, just like that. Mm -hmm. Man, I can't, like... I tell people, you know, well, they ask me, they go, what's well, the most challenging thing to learn on it? And now that I think about it, that was really hard to learn. That's probably one of the toughest things right yeah, there. Yeah, because it just comes out of left field. You know, it, well, literally, I mean, those ships shoot out at you. Um, and you, your first instinct is to run away, not to go towards it. You know what I mean? So yeah. forever, you're just running away from that guy. Mm -hmm. You want to be... Ooh. Ooh. There we go. A little nervous there. 4.5 coming up. Yeah. So another thing that'll happen is I'll be playing and I'll dodge something I'm supposed to die on and it gets my, it'll get my adrenaline going a little bit. You know what I mean? And that could be times when people die too. So yeah, adrenaline gets going, you just miss something, you're kind of out of whack, you're, you're trying to refocus. Right. So that's another, that's another big thing. Yeah. Get you. yeah. Get you. Normal for me on a first life, 2.5, 3 million. Not every time. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what's the most common. What's that? 200,000 points. Have to restart. <laughs> you know, ramping yeah. up that difficulty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it yeah. happens. Good. Lots of times I'll get a first life on that loss. I don't know if I said this yet, but on on five man, you can lose them all instantly, you know, and get a game over. So people will ask me, they'll go, you know, your first man's three million or two million or whatever. You can go on to get um, you know, twelve million. It's just, that's just not how it works, you know. You, you can't double up again. That could be your only run. Yeah, it could be your big run. It had, yeah. I mean, that's the way it is in video games. Yeah, yeah. So, well, it's not like other video games where, you know, you die and you start over. Uh, you know, you, you have to get the double shift. Right. So it's 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 a little more demanding. It's not just, uh, okay, let's uh, take a deep breath and try the stage again that I messed up on. Right. Now, in Marathon, it's not as big of a deal, but with the tournament setting, it's only five lives. Yep. That's it. Lose quickly. Getting near five million, so that's good. Yeah, you're getting there. I'm gonna let him loop around. Much easier. Puts me in a better position there. Yep. Yep. Wow, that's that. a good. That's a good tip. Gotta be careful of that guy. 
that one there? Oh yeah, I'll go all over the place. He'll mess you Definitely up. Definitely want to get going pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. But if you wait, let him go down through the screen twice, he'll slow down. Oh really? Yeah, you just wait for him. Then he'll speed back up. Again? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Don't want to go down sometime. <laughs> So when's the next stage that you can rest on? Uh, level zero. Level so, zero. 250, after stage 255. Some people call it 256, I call it zero just because it says level zero on okay. it. Yeah. That could have been bad there. <laughs> I don't know what stage we're on here. 100 and something. You can just sit right here for this kind of stage. That's right. Just a little off center to the left. Right between the G and the H. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. G and the H. Watch that boom. See that bullet go? Yeah. This is cool too because it shows, you know, I'm not just doing this at home. I'm out at an arcade, you know. Uh, in the score, so that's oh, yeah, you awesome. know what I mean. Yeah. Like it, it's you it's like score in the arcade. That's well, awesome. well, it's it's like you know some people, and I'm not saying this happens a lot, but every once in a while you get some people maybe that can't produce the same quality unless they're on their own machine with their buttons feel a certain way in the monitor. Right. You know, and this is a really nice machine. You know, it's not bragging too much, but it's it's good to show people that you can. Uh, play on another machine and get a good score too it's not just on your own so right that's, that's awesome and a lot you know our, our mondo's done that mike thompson's done that andrew barrow's done that so uh, i think that's like it's an important thing to show people yeah they go out in the public and be able to do right, it right right and be able to do it <laughs> I got a new uh, club, it's called the Galaga Group, and uh, it's on Facebook. It's easy to join, you just ask to join and we get to hit them. It's awesome, it's for anybody who loves Galaga. And uh, it's fantastic because, uh, you know, people can play on there and stream live and they only maybe get 20,000 points and they're streaming next to somebody who gets a million points on their first life. So that's that's what's really great. Right, yeah. You know, it's just the love of Galaga and we're going to have we have a bunch of little mini challenges we're setting up, we're in the works of doing right now, and just fun stuff. Something where everybody can enjoy it, you know, you might see uh, somebody's got their arm tattooed with Galaga stuff on there, or somebody, you know, a cool coat or something. And right. It's just all the love, all the people love Galaga and can be there and hang out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you're bored, get on that club. <laughs> <laughs> Galaga group. There it is. Because it's the farthest, I'm pretty sure it's the farthest I've ever gone on one ship uh, off the start. Not on one ship, but on my first two ships. This is the farthest. Right. Uh, we're getting, we're either getting to that point. I know I have it written down somewhere, but I'm pretty sure we're, yeah, this is about as far as I've ever gotten with two ships. So, my first two. The farthest run I've ever gotten in general with just two ships, you know, maybe I lost a couple of lives and then I did a big run. It was it was during my record game, my world records, and uh, it was like 7.6 million without losing a life. Wow. Five hour game. Yeah. Right before, right before uh, I was passing this record, and so I had to play single ship for a little bit. Because I can't double up at that point, yeah. or it wouldn't count. So it's a little weird, but yeah, you know. And then finally, someone—I think it was Andrew Barrow—was like, "Yep, you're good to go. Double up." He was watching. And that was cool. Awesome. Yeah. All right, stage zero. Look at this. It ain't working. All right, 
There's a break. All right, I'll sit that chair in dark. Cool, huh? You just park it right inside like that. You sit there. All right, I wanted to thank Jordan Dorrington for uh, spending time with uh, me at uh, Galloping Ghost and uh, letting us visit with him. And uh, he was uh, pretty laid back, and he would talk to people as he was playing. He ended up breaking the house high and got over 8 million points. Super nice guy. Um, follow his uh, new Facebook group, uh, Galaga Group. Um, it's a fun uh, page to uh, learn about Galaga. All right, so I want to thank everybody for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, until next time, guys, I'll talk to everybody later.